Hello, hello everyone. Hello guys, how are you guys on today? Guess what? Guess what time it is? It is story time with Miss Doris. I'm so, so excited to be reading you guys a story on today. I'm so, so excited. Well, guess what? Today I have an awesome book for us for our reading on today. And remember, today is Wednesday. And on Wednesdays, we read a Christian book on Wednesday. I'm so, so excited. I'm going to go ahead on and get started. I would like to greet everyone all over the world. I would like to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some, good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? You are just in time for story time with Miss Doris. Today's story we're going to be reading is Stories of the Bible. Stories of the Bible. And this is a hardbound book. And guess what today's color is? Today's color is going to be the color of the letters in our story writing. Stories and Bible. So guess what? Today's color is going to be the color red. We have a red octagon, red heart, and a red semi-circle. So this is a red half circle red heart red octagon if you guess the color red guess what you guess right i would like to greet everyone all over the world hello and welcome to story time with miss doris i'm so glad you guys are tuning in to story time and i'd like to give a special shout out to all of our new followers we are up to 1245 followers as of today, 1,245 followers. I'm so, so excited. And to all of our children that are in school here in Las Vegas, I know you guys are going to be catching this replay once you get out of school, maybe at snack time or dinner time, or maybe when you're going to bed. But don't forget, don't forget to share, share, share this video with all your families and friends. Hello to PLCC family. Hello, BJ. Hello, Brother Ruben. Hello, so, so Hello, Jojo. Hello, Harmony. Hello, TM. I miss you, TM. Hello, Harmony. Hello, Tanelia. Hello, Ari. Hello, Goddess Lakeisha. J. Marie. Skyler. Thailand. Tyler. Uh, let's see. Itty and Rome. And, oh my God. It's so many of you guys. Hello, so, so, hello, Royce. Hello, Royce. Hello, Miss Nietzsche. Hello to all of you guys, to you that are celebrating a birthday on this week. Happy birthday to you. Hope you enjoy your day. Well, guess what? Let's go ahead and get ready to do that story time song. And remember, when we're practicing, when we're singing that story time song, make sure you are practicing safety, safety first. I know it really gets you moving, but make sure you're practicing there it goes. Make sure you are practicing safety, safety first at all, all times. It's story time. Story time with Miss. It's story time. It's story time. And I have an awesome, awesome book for us. Sing to you. Tell you all just what to do. Sing to you. Tell you all just like to do story time. It's story time. I'm so excited to be reading you a story on today. Story time with Miss. It's story time. Yes, it's story time. And guess what? She read to you, sing to you, tell you all just what. To do. Wow, you guys were awesome. I heard you singing so, so, so loud. Let's get ready to read our story. Go ahead on and have a seat, moms and dads, nanas and papas, with the children while I read you a story on today. Stories of the Bible. It's story time. Baby Moses. When Moses was born, his mother knew 
her son was in danger. The Pharaoh did not like the Israelite. She hid her baby. She wove a basket, placed him in it, and sat him. Let me turn the music down just a little bit. Much better. Baby Moses. When Moses was born, his mother knew her son was in lots and lots of danger. The Pharaoh did not like the Israelites. She hid her baby. She wove a blanket, placed him in it, and set him among the needs, the reeds along the Nile. She asked her daughter Miriam to watch after him. Soon the Pharaoh's daughter found the basket. Imagine her surprise when she saw a tiny, tiny baby inside. Miriam came out of the hiding and asked if the princess wanted a nurse maid. The princess said, yes, go. Miriam returned with her mother, who taught the child many, many, many things. Later, the princess adopted the boy so he could grow up without want. She named him Moses, which means drawn out of the water. The tiny baby hidden in the reeds would one day save the people of Israel. Story time with Miss is my little baby Moses. Story time with Miss Jerry to you. Say to you. The next story you're going to read is Joshua and the Great Wall. God had an important job for Joshua. He wanted him to lead the people to the promised land. Joshua knew that he had to go through Jericho, which hit which had a high, 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 high wall all the way around it. On their way, an angel told Joseph that his army should march around the wall city once each day for six days. On the seventh day, the army should circle the city seven times. Then everyone should blow their horns and shout. Joshua and his army did as the angel said. On the seventh day, after circling Jericho seven times, everyone blew their horns as hard as they could and shouted as loudly, as loudly as they could. Stone by stone, the walls crumbled and crashed to the ground. God helped the people go. God helped the people so they could never, so they could enter the promised land. Excuse me, let me read that one more time. God helped the people so they could enter the promised land. Wow, look at the walls come tumbling down. So guess what? They obeyed. They obeyed. God wants us to obey his order or whatever he commands us to do. The next short story is Abraham and Sarah. Sarah, Abraham and his wife Sarah trusted God. God had told Abraham that one day he would have as many children and grandchildren as the stars in the sky. But it had been many, many years and he still hadn't. One day, God told Abraham he and Sarah must move to Canaan. They packed up and traveled to their new land. I have to sneeze, excuse me. When they arrived, they set up camp. Soon three visitors came by. One of them told Abraham that Sarah would soon give birth to a baby boy. Abraham could not believe his ears. Sarah laughed to herself. She was over 90 years old. 
When the visitor heard Sarah laugh from the inside the tent, he said, Why did Sarah laugh? The Lord can do anything. A year later, a baby boy was born. They named him Isaac, which means laughter. Wow, that was a beautiful story. Even though she was up in age, 90 years old, but guess what? God never, God's word never returns back voided. So if God says he's going to do something or if he's going to bless, guess what? Trust and believe. It is so. It will be done. The next story we're going to be reading is Joseph and the Colt. Joseph was the favorite of his father's 12 sons. The father gave him a coat of many, many beautiful colors. His brothers were really jealous. They threw Joseph into a well and then sold him in to slavery. Joseph lived in prison in Egypt, but God had not forgotten him. God helped him understand people's dreams. Soon the Pharaoh heard of Joseph and told him about the dream about seven fat cows and seven skinny cows. Joseph said it meant Egypt would have seven years of good crops followed by seven years of famine. He told the Pharaoh to collect all of the grain in the next seven years so his people would not starve later. The Pharaoh did as Joseph said, and when the famine came, seven years later, Egypt had plenty to eat. Wow, there's Joseph and the coat of beautiful, beautiful colors in which his father gave him. Wow, that's awesome. He interpreted dreams and God gave him the answer for a dream. So guys, remember, whatever God tells you to do, make sure you are following or doing the commandment of the Lord. So whatever you ask, whatever you pray to, when you pray to God, just believe and have faith that it is so and it is done. I enjoyed reading you a story on today. And remember, if you're not feeling well, always, always let someone know that you are not feeling well and they will take really, really, really good care of you. When you're out and when you're playing with your toys, make sure you are washing and sanitizing your hands at all times. Remember, we are still practicing safety, safety first. And when you're out in public, it is imperative that you are wearing your mask at all times. Make sure you're wearing your mask. Guys, don't take your mask off unless someone tells you to. You guys are awesome listeners on today. I hope you enjoy today's story, Stories of the Bible. And remember, make sure that you are sharing, sharing, sharing our story time videos or the story time link of our story time fan page and also our story time YouTube page with your family and friends. Make sure you're sharing. And don't forget, Miss Story Time has a birthday coming up in September, September 6th. So if you would like to send Miss Story Time, a letter or a card or maybe you guys want to draw me your favorite picture or you can draw a picture of Miss story time and send me your pictures i would love to hear from all of our fans of story time take care guys and remember if you're not smiling on today miss story time has a special special smile just for you on today Take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. All videos will be uploaded probably within about an hour 
or so. Take care. Have an awesome day and see you on tomorrow. Don't forget to smile.